All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. I'm sitting over here at the KB32 headquarters north, and uh, I just want to give a big shout out to my buddy Val for uh, hanging out with me yesterday over there at Mifflin County Sportsman Association. We've got a, uh, a big competition coming up this weekend, and unfortunately, my Delta Point Pro took a poo poo on me, so I'm going to have to change that thing out in a, in a hurry. So, uh, this is a really cool, interesting article that I wanted to bring to you. I felt it was of really high importance because this is a, uh, what do you call those guys that uh, do news? <laughs> a reporter, and it's an opinion piece in Newsweek. I'll put the link down below. Democrats, stop exploiting the Jacksonville tragedy to push for gun control. And this is an op-ed by a guy named Brad Polumbo, and I suggest you uh, take a look at him. He's pretty cool. So, I felt like this was important. It also is applicable to all the things that we we are going through. Also, big uh, shout out to all the guys down there in Florida. I hope you uh, get through this thing okay. So uh, what are we talking about here? Uh, this is basically him talking about the administration and the Democrats pushing uh, every time, you know, uh, Rahm Emanuel, don't let a tragedy go to waste to push your agenda. And this is exactly what it is. They could care less about the individuals who got killed in this whole thing. But what they're trying to do is they're pushing the agenda, their anti-gun control thing, or the gun control thing. What, and it starts off by this, all right, here we go. What sickness of the human soul pushes one to be so blindly by racial hatred that you target and kill three innocent people because of the color of their skin? Pretty sick to me, right? That's the questions Americans should be asking ourselves after a horrifying thing that happened, and I'm not going to say anything, happened in Florida where a white man, who won't be named, shot and killed three uh, African-American black people in crime authorities say is motivated by racial hatred. And that is the, the most sickest thing to take a human life just because of the things that you believe or don't believe in. Okay. It's sad. Uh, it goes on to say, but instead of posing that crucial question, okay, we're talking about the racial divide, the racial question, uh, the sick people out there. Okay. But instead of posing that crucial question, which would provide, help us prevent these heinous crimes in the future, we devolved into the same old partisan calls for gun control, okay? We must continue to do all we can to keep guns out of dangerous hands. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre said immediately focusing on gun control as opposed to the mental issues that are <laughs> that we have in this damn country, okay? I don't mean damn country, but the country that we live in, there are sick people out there. And the only thing they can do is Focus on you, focus on me, uh, because it's easy to take the guns out of the law-abiding hands, not the individuals out there who are going to be doing this. And, and it's important to point out that this guy legally obtained all these vehicles, these vehicles, these uh, firearms. But we were talking about that the other day. There is no line item on the 4473 asking if you're a racist. Okay. Uh, in a similar vein, Vice President Kamala Harris put out a statement seizing on the tragedy to resurface her pre-existing gun control policy, writing that the shooting was carried out with a weapon of war and that should never have been on the streets. Yes, without even knowing what was going on, she had to come on out with that weapon of war thing. And it was a tweet, all right? I'm broken hearted about a yesterday shooting in Jacksonville. Yes, everybody should be broken hearted about it, right? right? This act was reportedly driven by racism and hatred carried out with a weapon of war that should have never been on the streets. These tragedies must stop. We must renew the ban on assault weapons. It's long overdue. No, that's a negative, okay? So uh, focus on what's happening with our people in this country, not the guns. And this is one of the interesting things as this journalist goes on to say, all right, listen to me when I say this, these tragedies must stop, uh, yada, yada, yada. You get the idea, right? It's a quote, unquote. Many Democrats and progressives have focused on guns and gun control after the Jacksonville shooting, yet this obsession entirely misses the point. For one thing, the things they're actually proposing would have had no difference in this case. For example, banning an assault weapon or AR-15 was reportedly used in the shooting isn't some novel idea, right? The federal government actually banned assault weapons from 1994 to 2004, and it didn't work. Negative. And he goes on to back that up, saying besides the shooter in this case killed three people before ending his own life, that is an immeasurable human loss. But, and this is interesting, he goes there, a journalist, right? But, and forgive me for being blunt, killing three people does not require an assault weapon. How about that? Some of the deadliest mass shootings in American history, shootings like Columbine, were actually carried out with handguns. Banning handguns isn't even on the table, and among mainstream Democrats, the gun control proponents, right? 
All they want to do is keep you from owning a fire. Frankly, you don't need a gun of any kind to kill three people. A deranged individual can kill 10 or even 19 people with a knife or stabbing spree or horrifying incidents in Canada and Japan. Societies with strict gun control have shown. I think we can all agree that the majority of the killings in this country come from cities that have the most stringent gun control laws. And why is that? Well, they only keep the law-abiding citizens from obtaining firearms or being able to carry a firearm where they need to. Yeah. Okay. So, when you find yourself in a situation where a young man wakes up one day and decides to kill people because of their race and absence of fire, certain firearms, or even all firearms, wouldn't actually solve the problem or prevent the tragedy. So, when a guy kills a bunch of people with a truck or a knife, it's no big deal. Nobody cares, right? Oh, it's bad. No one's banning knives. No one's banning vans. We have to stop people who have had bad intentions. Jackson Sheriff T.J. Waters, who is black, said the story is always about guns. People are bad. This guy was a bad. The problem is the individual. And that sheriff is exactly right. A gun simply is a tool. And I cannot believe this is coming from a journalist, okay? Uh, people can use it to do great evil, as we've witnessed in this case, but they can also be used to do good, right? As it is estimated that guns are used in self-defense somewhere between 500,000 and 2 million times every year in America. Take away the guns, guess what? You're going to have 500,000 people who are dead. When Democrats tell the public that simply getting rid of certain guns could stop these kinds of atrocities from happening, they're either being woefully naive or deeply dishonest. They're being dishonest people. They don't want anybody to have a firearm. Unfortunately, the desire among these deranged individuals to cause harm is utterly unaffected by the ability or the availability of a tool. They simply make use of another one to carry out their evil intentions. And he finishes up, and I have to agree, but for many Democrats and progressives, it's easier to delude themselves into thinking there's simply a policy fix to this problem than to look in the darkest depths of evil and truly reckon with how we can cure this sickness of the human soul. And I think as of late, as of late, I believe that people have just gotten sicker. So y'all let me know what your thoughts are down below. I just had to push this out real quickly. This guy is really good. I'll put the link to the Newsweek article down here. And I thought it was interesting that he pushed this out because he's truthful. He's honest. He's telling the truth. So here we go. Yeah. Y'all let me know what your thoughts are down below, of course. We always end them like this. God bless America. God bless us men, women, in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. It's KB32. I'm out of here. Boom. Y'all be good. See ya.